I'm Sarah McLeod. I'm here in Ithaca, New York with Claire Grady of the Kings Bay Plowshare 7. Claire and her six co-defendants are facing 20 to 25 years for their nonviolent symbolic disarmament action against the Trident nuclear weapons system. Claire, would you give us your analysis of Trident? Trident is the most deadly weapon on the planet, and the United States has six of them at home port in Kings Bay Naval Base in southeast Georgia. And the destructive power of that weapon needs to be noted um, in a big way that it, if, if unleashed all of these missiles on the Trident submarine, there would be the death of all living, which is what we call omnicide. In addition to that, the three things that I feel are important to say is that all, just by the mere production of these weapons, with the mining, the refining, the testing, and the dumping of radioactive material, all of that is done on indigenous land. And indigenous people have been on the, on the receiving end of that violence of these weapons since the 40s. Um, the cost of, of Trident is in the trillions, and that's all stolen resource, you can be sure. Um, and then the third thing that's maybe hard for people to grasp, but these weapons that most of people don't even see are the biggest bully stick on the planet, and they are used in the same way that a cock gun is used when it's held to somebody's head. Even if I never pull the trigger, if I'm holding that gun to somebody's head, I'm using that gun to enforce all the systems of white supremacy, global capitalism, and global domination. They are connected to every interventionist war and all the way down to the chain of um, state-sponsored violence to the police gun on the street that is used to kill black and brown bodies. It must be seen in a context of global domination and the United States um, uses these weapons to have its way in the world and I guess I would use the word extortion and so these plan these weapons are killing every day and it's those are ours to disarm. Thank you.